Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi to everyone who watch this video me as a leader and my team member from class JCS 1431F will be presenting our group project under course MAT123 Foundation of Geometry which is application of geometry Next, let me introduce to you my group members I start with myself first My name is Nurhana Binti Zunaidi Our group leaders, Muhammad Ashraf Fitri bin Kamal, last but not least, Siti Najwa Binti Yusof. So, let's hear our presentation about this project. Hope you guys enjoy. For this assignment, our group choose two cases. The first case is potato chip in a tube, and the second case is party cone hat. Without further ado, let me start with our first case, which is a tube of potato chip. Now, I will let all of you know the reason why we had choose this case which is a tube of potato chip. In this case, our group decide to study the tube of a potato chip as our first object of interest. We choose this object because we were attracted to it and wanted to know why it was made in this particular way. The tube of this potato chip is a combination of two shapes, which are a taller cylinder and a shorter cylinder. Talking about cylinder, what is cylinder? Some people do not know a property about cylinder. So, in this video, I will let all of you know a property about cylinder. Cylinder is a three-dimensional shape made up of two parallel circular bases joined by a curved surface. It has two circular faces. The center of the circular base overlap to form a right cylinder. The perpendicular distance between the base is denoted as the height, which is h of the cylinder and R is the radius of the cylinder. The top view of the cylinder appear to be a circle while the side view appear to be a rectangle. A cylinder unlike a cone, cube or cuboid has no vertices because it has a curved shape and no straight line. So for the calculation, we will calculate the body and the lid of potato chip tube. As we can see, the shape for the body is a taller cylinder while for the lid is a shorter cylinder. Alright, so to calculate the surface area of the body, we should find the radius, lateral face area, base area and then we total up the lateral face area and base area to get the total of surface area. Okay, so The first step is find the radius. Given here, diameter is 7.5 cm. So, diameter divided by 2 will get radius. So, 7.5 cm divided by 2, we got 3.75 cm for the radius. To find the lateral face area, we use the formula circumference of the base multiplied by height, which is 2 pi r h. R which is radius is 7.5 cm H which is height is 23.3 cm So calculation for the lateral face area is 2 pi multiplied by 3.75 multiplied by 23.3 equals to 548.9933 cm square For the base area we use the circle area formula which is pi r square So, for the calculation is pi multiplied by 3.75 square equals to 44.1786 cm square. For the surface area, 
we total up the lateral face area and base area that we got earlier. So calculation for the for the surface area is 448.9933 plus 44.1786 equals to 593.1720 cm square. In case you do not know why we need to measure the area of the body. So we need to measure the area of the body because we need to know how many sticker will be wrapped in the body of the potato chip still. Okay, to measure the volume of cylinder, we use the formula base area multiplied by height which is pi r square h. Given h is 23.3 cm, r is 3.75 cm. We got 3.75 cm because radius is diameter divided by 2. So calculation for the volume of cylinder is pi multiplied by 3.75 square multiplied by 23.3 equals to 1029.3625 cm cube. In case you do not know, we need to measure the volume of the body so that we can know how many potato chips will be fit in the tube. Next, we continue with the lead part. As we know, the shape of the cylinder base is a circle. So, we have two circles here. The first one is the body base which is the lower part of the potato chip tube. The second one is the lead base which is the upper part of the potato chip tube. So, to find the area of these two bases, of course, we need to use the formula of area of circle which is pi r squared. So, we start with the body base first, given the diameter is 7.5 cm. So, to find the radius, we need to divide the value by 2. Then, we just need to substitute the value in the formula which is pi r square. Then, we will get the answer 44.1786 cm. The second one is the lead base, given the diameter is 8 cm. Like always, we should divide the value by 2 to find the radius. After that, we just need to substitute the value in the formula pi r squared. Then, we will get the answer 50.2655 cm. Next, we need to calculate the circumference of the lead. So, what is circumference? In geometry, the circumference is the perimeter of a circle or ellipse. That is, the circumference would be the arc length of the circle as if it would open up and straighten out of the line segment. More generally, it is the curve length around any closed figure. So, the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r. Let's calculate together. We start with the lead base first. As given, the diameter is 8 cm. To find the radius, we need to divide the value by 2. Then, we will get the radius is 4 cm. Then, we substitute the value in the formula which is 2 pi r. Then, we will get the answer which is 25.1327 cm. We continue with the second one which is the body base. As given, the diameter is 7.5 cm. To find the radius value, we need to divide the value given by 2. Then, we will get the radius is 3.75 cm. Then, like always, we substitute the value in the formula. Then, we will get the answer which is 23.5619 cm. In case you do not know the reason why, we need to make sure that the base area of the lid should be a little bigger than the base area of the body. The answer is so that the lid can close the body well. Imagine if the area of the body is equal or bigger than the area of the lid. Of course, the lid cannot close the body perfectly. So, by calculating the base area of the lid and body, this problem totally can be solved. Next, let's move to the next case which is party coin head. A party hat is any of a number of celebratory hats, most typically in the form of a conical hat made with a piece of thin paper board 
Usually, with designs printed on the outside and a long string of elastic acting like a thin strap. Going from one side of the cone's bottom to another to secure the cone to the person's head. The party has the party hat has its origin in the dance cap or San Bettino worn by misbehaving or poorly performing school children from the mid 19th century to the early 20th century with its festive decoration and century. Society's positive attitude toward the wearer indicating a relaxation or even reversal of certain social norms. So, what is cone? A cone is a three-dimensional geometric shape that tapers smoothly from a flat base to a point called the apex or vertex. A cone is formed by a set of line segments, half lines or lines connecting a common point, the apex, to all of the points and the base that is in a plane that does not contain the apex. So, Basically, we have two types of coin, which is the first one is closed coin and the second one is unclosed coin. For this case, we categorize it in the unclosed coin because it doesn't have any base. There is four properties of coin. First, a coin has only one face. Second, a coin that does not have its apex directly above the circular base is an oblique coin. Third, it has zero edges. Fourth, a base of a cone is circular. Next, we need to find the surface area of cone. Surface area of cone equal to slant high time pi time radius. So first, we need to find the slant high. To find the slant high, we need to use Pythagoras theorem. So S equal to square root 25 square plus 9 square equal to square root 706. So S equal to square root 706 equal to 26.5707 cm so surface area equal to 26.5707 times pi times 9 equal to 239.1363 pi cm square in case you do not know we need to measure the surface area of the body so that we can know the total of sticker to wrap the body of the head we need to calculate the volume of the cone. Volume of cone equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h. r equal to 9, h equal to 25. So, volume of cone equal to 1 over 3 times pi times 9 square times 25 equal to 2120.5750 cm cube. Next, we need to find the circumference of the circle. Circumference of the circle equal to 2 pi r. First, we need to find the radius. Radius equal to diameter divided by 2. So, 16 divided by 2 equal to 8 cm. Next, circumference of the circle, 2 pi times 8 equal to 50.2655 cm. In case you do not know, we need to measure the circumference of the head so that we can know it can fit to our head. So, we can conclude that geometric solids can be found in a variety of places including our homes, places of works, schools, and so on. However, we do not notice them until we have gotten used to recognizing them. So, next conclusion is, the geometry application is part of daily human life and was very useful in our daily life which could help us recognize the shape and we could know the size of thing that we use every day so that we could learn a new thing and we could adapt what we learn day to day. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. We very much appreciate it. And don't forget to like and share this video and thank you.